Ja, damit willkommen zu einer weiteren Episode. Und wow, ist das eine Achterbahnfahrt. Suizid, automater Schlag. Was kommt jetzt als nächstes? Boah, die, das ganze Land ist hier im Chaos. Und so verrückt, wie die Gegenseite auch ist, aber ich glaube, die müssen wir wirklich aktiv unterstützen. Aber es wäre auch ein Let's Play mal interessant, wo wir halt voll bei der Regierung sind. Der Rest der Schicht erlebst du wie durch einen Schleier. Immer wieder Geister, die dir selber mordet den Kopf. Haben Advance-Agenten nukleare Sprengköpfe gezündet. Äh, erste Schätzung zur Folge gehen die Todeszahlen in die Millionen. Ist das gerade wirklich passiert? Du wickst in deine Einfahrt ein, kannst dich aber nicht an die Fahrt erinnern. Das Licht im Flur ist an. Es ist wohl jemand wach. Die Tür zum Wohnzimmer knarzt, als du sie öffnest. Sam sitzt auf dem Sofa und starrt auf den Fernseher. Der ist jedoch ausgeschaltet. Der ist offenbar in Gedanken verloren. Du setzt dich daneben und versuchst, die richtigen Worte zu finden. Der sieht dich nicht an, hebt aber den Arm und deine Hand in deren, in deren zu nehmen. Aus der Nähe siehst du Sams Gesicht deutlicher und einen solchen Ausdruck hast du noch nie drauf gesehen. Chris und Susi, sie sind beide... Ich weiß, was machen wir jetzt? Was können wir denn schon tun, verdammt? Diese Schweine haben Chris und Susi getötet und Millionen von anderen. Wegen einem beschissenen Krieg, den wir nie wollten. Wo die Tränen erwartest, siehst du nur Feuer und puren ruhen Zone. Der ist manisch. Ich hasse sie, Alex. Ich weiß, dass du warst nie ein Fan von Advance, aber nach dieser Sache. Sie sind Monster. Ich muss wissen, dass dir das klar ist. Dass dir klar ist, dass wir uns nicht einfach neutral bleiben können. Dass wir etwas tun müssen. Äh, hat Wanzer getan, was nötig war. Ich bin froh, dass sie zum Äußersten bereit waren, um uns alle zu beschützen. Nee. So einfach ist das in meinen Augen nicht. Das Land leidet. Dieser Krieg muss ein Ende haben. Diese Tat lässt sich doch nichts rechtfertigen. Unter jeder... Ja, doch. Ja, klar. Das kannst du nicht rechtfertigen, dass du so Atombomben abgehen lässt. So. Erleichterung macht sich auf Sams Gesicht breit und... Warum eigentlich Day? Fällt dir die Arme und klammert dich fest. Ganz offen, äh, offensichtlich war das eine schwere Last für Dem? Irgendwas ist hier komisch. Äh, du bist dir auch nicht sicher, ob du überhaupt schon alles verarbeitet hast, aber zumindest werdet ihr das gemeinsam durchstehen. Oh, doch so viele Tage nach vorne. Ein letzter Abschied. Uh, Skyrim? Okay. Letzte Woche ist wie im Flug vergangen. Es gab jede Menge zu tun. Und doch war alles gleich vergessen. Die Erinnerung verschwand in den finsteren Nebel. Neun Tage sind seit der sogenannten Befreiungsnacht und dem Beginn von Advances neuer Zukunft vergangen. Du gehst in die Kirche und bist erstaunt, wie viele Leute gekommen sind, um mit dir zu trauern. Jeder ist aus demselben Grund angekommen. Ange äh, hat denselben Schmerz, denselben Verlust. Es steht jedem ins Gesicht geschrieben. Auch dir. Du löst dich von den anderen, um deine Gedanken zu sammeln. Dein kleines Mädchen, Susi und Chris. Beide. Einfach weg. Sam hat seine, seit jedem Abend fast nicht mehr gesprochen. Der Schock sitzt einfach zu tief. Nicht, dass es dir anders ergehen würde. Schweigend hört Sam an dich heran und drückt deine Hand in einen Akt der Verzweiflung auf der Sucht nach Trost. Und du drückst zurück. Ein kleiner Teil von dir kann nicht umhin, sie zu fragen, bist du mitschuldig? Diese Narben werden nicht so schnell verblassen. Es gab nicht mal Särge zum Begraben. Oh shit, das ist ein brutaler fast Vorwort. Okay. Sie wird 13. Ein hey, da ist so viel. Ha. Really? Ich scheint ein ganz gewöhnlicher Morgen zu sein, aber als du im Büro ankommst, hat sich im Pausenraum eine kleine Menschenmenge versammelt. Du fängst an, dir deine erste Tasse Tiefe heute vorzubereiten und schnappst dir dabei immer, also dabei immer wieder ein paar aufwendige Gesprächswetzen auf. Hast du es noch nicht gehört? Ja, es ist schon wieder jemand verschwunden. Äh, der wie viele war das jetzt? Der, der wie viele war das jetzt eigentlich schon, bitte? Oh, es sind bestimmt schon über 100. Es wurden bestimmt noch nicht alle gemeldet oder überhaupt bemerkt. Entschuldigung, was ist denn los? Eine aufgelegte junge Frau dreht sich zu dir um und beginnt zu erklären. 
Es ist schon wieder ein Professor verschwunden von der Queensview University. Nach dem ganz anderen vermissten Fall im letzten Jahr. Wissenschaftler, Ärzte, Forscher. Ist die Lage klar? Sie hält inne und spricht dann in Flüsterton weiter. Disrupt versucht, Kritiker verstummen zu lassen. Ergeblich hat Advance sogar Mühe, weitere eine tiefe vertraute Stimme hinter dir unterbricht sie. Was ist dir bitte los? Plötzlich wird es still im Raum und alle drehen sich zur Tür. Postman reißt bei sich, bevor er weiterspricht. Ich habe ja schon einmal gesagt, ich will von diesen angeblichen vermissten Fällen nichts hören. Kommt schon, Leute. Advance hat ganz klar gesagt, dass man von ihnen keine Angst haben muss. Du glaubst aber auch alles, was sie dir sagen, oder? Sie sind also nicht unser Problem. Und solange sie uns nicht anfangen, Cappuccinos als intellektuell einzustufen, ähm, hat, ihr, äh, hat hier, glaube ich, äh, niemand etwas zu befürchten. Also zurück an die Arbeit. Als alle anderen den Raum verlassen, hebt Bruce meine Hand, um dich aufzuhalten. Pass auf, unter uns. Die Anweisung, nichts zu unternehmen, kommt von ganz oben. Ich kann da nichts machen. Es wäre also schön, wenn du nicht weiter davon redest und sorgt dafür, dass euch die Nachrichten dieser Richtlinie entsprechen, ja? Er stetschelt dir den Arm und grinst dich an, bevor er verschwindet, um üblichen seinem Tagwerk nachzugehen, wie auch immer das aussehen mag. Die Verstaatlichung ist mit ihm voll im Gange, was auch immer man davon halten mag. Ja, das ist schlecht. Das, das ist ein Regime, was alles unter seiner Kontrolle hat und du bist noch nur eine Marionette drin. Und wenn du nicht mitspielst, dann verschwindest du. Äh, kleiner Sidekick zu Zweiter Weltkrieg. Was mir da jetzt ein bisschen einfällt. Aber ja. Aber tack. Oh wow, und weiter geht's. Und was macht Disturb da die ganze Zeit? Hatten die keinen Einfluss? Ein Funke, der das Feuer entfacht. Und was ist aus dem Krieg eigentlich geworden? Night of Fire. Wer war da auch noch was? Da, ah, Mann. Ah, du bist überrascht, dass Sam neben dir liegt, als du aufwachst. Äh, der muss gestern Nacht sehr spät von den Trinks mit den Leuten aus der Uni wiedergekommen sein. Du beschließt, im Dem schlafen zu lassen und einen faulen Sonntagmorgen zu genießen. Nachdem das Haus so still ist, beschließt du Wohnzimmer zu frühstücken, damit du neben dem Fern äh, neben, äh, nebenher fernsehen kannst. Herzlich also, willkommen zu Breaking News. Im ganzen Land sind gestern nach große Flächen Ackerland in Flammen aufgegangen. Die Behörden sprechen von einem heimtückischen und gut geplanten Terrorakt der Gruppe, die sich Disrupt nennt. Du lässt einen Löffel wieder in das Porridge fallen und machst lauter. Die Angriffe gestern Nacht richteten sich nicht nur gegen Lebensmittelgeschäfte, was Regierungsquellen zufolge schwere Auswirkungen auf universelle Menüzentren im ganzen Land haben wird, sondern auch gegen eine Reihe von BGZ-Einrichtungen und zivile Gebäude. Laut Premierministerin Julia Salisbury über die bestimmte Gefängnisse und Umziehungs- und Besserungseinrichtungen. So weit sind wir schon. Jetzt ist es eigentlich wie China. Ähm, überfallen und eine geringe Anzahl problematischer und potenziell gefährlicher Personen wurden gewaltsam aus dem Recht. Äh, aus, aus, aus dem rechtmäßigen Gewahrsam befreit. Du hältst im Atem an und wartest gewandt, ob Verletzte gemeldet werden. Unglücklicherweise war die WGZ wohl nicht ausreichend auf ein solches Ereignis vorbereitet. Die Disrupt-Terroristen waren dagegen bestens organisiert und höchst effektiv. In den meisten angegriffenen Gebäuden befanden sich angesichts der späten Stunde glücklicherweise keine Menschen, doch die Besserungszentren waren voll mit Personal besetzt. 17 BGZ und 4 Verwaltungsmitarbeiter haben bei den brutalen Attacken von Disrupt gestern nach dem Leben verloren. Unzählige weitere wurden verletzt, viele davon schwer und mussten ins Krankenhaus gebracht werden. Einige wenige des shop konnten während der Attacken zwar verhaftet werden, doch der Großteil scheint entkommen zu sein. Wir berichten weiter, sobald neue Informationen vorliegen. Vergiss den Fernseher, um ihn abzuschalten. Aber vorher springt er etwas ins Auge. Bilder von einem der Tatorte, die in einer Schleife laufen, die kommen in den Überseite einer BGZ-Gebäudes. Ein sehr markantes Feuerzeug eindeutig. Was? Ein sehr markantes Feuerzeug eindeutig aus Irkistan. Es ist zu klein, um es deutlich auszumachen. Aber auf dem Feuerzeug ist eindeutig etwas eingraviert. In was sind, sind du und Chippy da bitte reingeraten? Na, ob du das wirklich erkennen kannst auf dem alten Fernseher da? Gott sei Dank nicht 9-11. <lacht> oh, das wäre böse gewesen.
sich unser Stuhl jetzt dann wieder verändert hat? Der Aufstand. Anderthalb Jahre seit der Befreiungsnacht. Alex? Wer spricht da? Ach da. This is Alan James. The revolution starts tonight, Alex, and we need your help. Throughout this broadcast, we're going to ask you to do things that will directly help with this mass protest. Okay. I'll be talking to you regularly tonight, and I'll also be hacking you when I can. Please help get our message out. We're on the verge, Alex. You've always been fair and balanced in your approach to us. With your help, we can tip the balance in our favor. If you play our tape at the second break, that's when we think it will have the most impact. It's on your right. Der zweiten Pause. Alles klar. Oh. Girls, I don't want to go on a date with your cousin, Colin. What have you got? So much in my head, Ryan. Dignity, my reputation. It's all right once you get past the teeth and the problematic tattoo. Oh, und wir haben ein neues Studio. Okay, alles klar. Ist sonst hier? Nee, also das unser. Oh, ist David Singer. Wenn ihr weg ist, oh, schade. I can help you. I'm an expert at romance. Ask my ex-wives. Du hast ja gerade selber widersprochen. Too short. Too smart. Going in five, four, three. Good evening. This is the National Nightly News, broadcasting across the territories. My name is Megan Wolf. Our top stories tonight, ashes to ashes. It's been 40 days since Disrupt conducted attacks across the territories. The coordinated action, dubbed the Night of Fire by commentators, was seen as an attempt to subvert the supply chain, but there may have been more to it. After a roadside IED toppled the convoy, prisoners, including Portia Hamilton Mann, the daughter of the former Prime Minister, were freed and have subsequently vanished. The escapees are presumed to have fled the territories. Here at Channel One, we say good riddance to bad rubbish. Food, glorious food. With the last of the menu centers opening in territories 5, 8 and 14 today, Advance confirmed that the program is now in full operation, providing free food for every citizen of the new future. What started as rationing during the 20-week war has blossomed into a social contract that is the envy of the unawakened world. Ich gehe mal mit B. Jack Tractor Pants, spokesman for the menu centers, said today that while they can guarantee the contents of every box is nutritious, the actual quality of the meals you cook depends on whether you have a touch of Chef Jordan Rankley or the culinary skills of a professional footballer. Wow! Rich man. Problems Haben Sie gerade selber beleidigt damit? 11, 17 and 22 today as striking bosses attempted to undermine their new economies. With seemingly no awareness of irony, the former CEOs and MDs have come together to form the Wealth Creators Union, with demands including a return to 150% bonuses, private jets and mandatory groveling zones. Uh, yeah, they are certainly net. Petulance, the former elites drove their luxury vehicles at 10 miles per hour up and down the motorways of their respective territories. The coordinated protest of elites inconvenienced several hundred thousand of their employees. Some fun now. Signs of ever more resistance to Advance's radical policies today, as popular resistance movement Disrupt extended their reach further across the territories. The organization's emblem appeared in every major city across the territories. Last okay, this is better than fees, but we make an A. Stunt, which has seen them dominate the headlines. Asked about the impressive display earlier today, Disrupt spokesperson Alan James said that the movement was reaching what he described as a critical mass. A poor choice of words, given recent history. Three of our favorite stories come to an end this evening. First. Water conundrum. When rains flooded the former Moobs shaft, now amusement park. Is this getting down as gleich? The deaths of hundreds of visitors would have finally brought an end to the cursed project. But Sophia Oh shit, this bit of Moobs Park was not good. As has been typical. But they have really built Rebranding as Sophia's Moist Splash Palace, the world's wettest water park has been an overwhelming success. What? Really? This year's most popular family fun day. Shares in Remington's Fist have soared, bringing a happy and prosperous end to this story for the daring CEO and her unpredictable moves. Oh my God. The miracle of Earth. Wonderful news from the imprisoned intellectuals of Dante's Taint as they announced the world's first subterranean baby was born yesterday. 
Wie können die da unten überhaupt so lange überleben? Aber es ist irgendwie so süß, dass sie das einfach auf die ganze Länge durchziehen. Man on. Footballer Johnny Hansleeves and his new wife Tiffany Lamour proudly announced today that their little team was 1-0 up at full time. Which apparently means that they're having a baby. Once beset by tabloid controversy, Johnny seems to be settling well into family life, calling this latest news the ultimate golden goal. If a golden goal also peed on you. <lacht> wow. Plus, we'll be taking a trip to Dangley Parts for the notice board as well as getting Okay, dann machen wir die Überblende. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Also ich würde mal wetten, die waren dann mindestens ein ganzes Jahr dran, nur in den ganzen Filmsequenzen. Und dann vermute ich nochmal so ein halbes Jahr, um das Ganze drumherum hier zu programmieren. Mindestens. Aber ich habe die Doku noch nicht gesehen. Die werde ich mir aber erst am Ende des Let's Plays auch anschauen. Weil sie soll ja eigentlich ein Spoiler sein, wenn man es so früh anschaut. But first, 500 days after the loss of a fine leader and a great man. The start of tonight's program is dedicated to remembering and celebrating the life of Peter Clement. Patrick Bannon is live from Parliament Park, where Julia Salisbury will be breaking ground on what will soon be a memorial garden in Peter's honour. I'm here for too much longer listening to that old bitch lying through her teeth about missing um. that poor bastard. Uh, Patrick, I don't know what I'm going to do. We're live. Because I'm not being funny. Things were better with Peter, weren't they? Patrick. They were, and I don't mind saying it. They were, because he held her back. But now, now there's no stopping Hello, her. Hello, Patrick, we're live. This is not censoring. No, 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 not with public ownership. No, with public okay, ownership, you can't say anything Patrick these days. Now she's lost it, mate. She's completely off the rocker. <laughs> well, I hope but... Hello, Megan. You join me here live from the what? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh... Oh, yeah. For a moment. Well, we will be going live to that groundbreaking ceremony just as soon as we can get Patrick back. <laughs> Meanwhile, let me just say, Wenn sie jetzt gerade nicht eingesperrt haben. Gardens are going to be gorgeous. I've had a sneak peek at the designs and Alana Marsh has done a fabulous job. Oh, okay. All right. It seems like we have got the signal back. Oh, was? We can direkt austauscht. Patrick Bannon in Parliament Park. Patrick. Thank you, Megan. I'm Patrick Bannon. No, you're not. Are indeed light here. Apologies for the technical difficulties there. But any moment now, Julia Salisbury will step out on stage behind me. Alex, Bozeman here. The boys in editing have just informed me that the eulogy footage isn't fully cut together yet. You're going to have to do it on the fly. For goodness sake, make sure you make it look good. Slowly gathering since the... Uh, okay. This is Alan. You can undermine them here and help us win hearts and minds. We can look bad, Alex. Really bad. Oh yeah, mach ich. And it da seems like the ceremony is getting underway. Here is Prime Minister Julia Salisbury, the picture of elegance to begin her address. Good evening, fellow teammates and friends. 500 days ago, all of our lives changed irrevocably. Still reeling from the triumphs and tribulations of Liberation Night, another great loss befell the people of these newly united territories. The loss of a leader, a statesman, a dear friend, and a hero, Peter Gordon Clement. Peter's death at the age of just 62, of course, announced by the team on the 24th of December, just six weeks after Liberation Night. Okay, ich kann da die schlechten Sachen zeigen, oder was? Born to a working class family on a housing estate in Rothering. Peter first trained as a carpenter before getting his start on television. First moving and building scenery and then developing into the personality that we all knew and loved so much. Oh Just yeah, I've got this negative for saying. screens over 25 years ago, running for 11 series, winning multiple awards and charming audiences up and down the country. Peter taught us, all of us, not to be content with the way <laughs> things are. Not to accept inequities, no matter how small. But he also taught us what it took to fight them. Courage, integrity, empathy, and hard bloody graft. 
Across the <laughs> Peter Clement is known for shows including Wake Up, It's Saturday, and much later, late night chat show PT, which at its peak drew Oh, krass. Peter was by no means a saint. Oh, Gott sei Dank sieht sie das nicht. Trust me, he once told me he had more regrets than he'd had stolen dinners. <laughs> he always did have a knack for a turn of phrase. But it speaks to the strength of his character that he chose to share with us his mistakes alongside his achievements, his faults as well as his talents. Peter had the heart to give it all, all he had for the people of these united territories. Famous for his potty mouth. <laughs> 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 I would say this is a very typical England, right? Over 1.5 million swear words during his career. Though some sources put this figure well in excess of two million f bombs alone. <laughs> Gripped by illness as he was in the weeks and months leading up to Liberation Night, he wasn't the man we loved. But his eyes still twinkled with that familiar joy for life, that spark of wit and wisdom of a life lived for others. Prime Minister Clement, of course, died from apparent liver failure after suffering from the long-term effects of alcohol abuse. I first met Peter nearly 20 years ago, moments before I was supposed to give a speech. Not unlike this one, actually. Only I um, it's from three I here, here as well. all down myself. And I was young, nervous, desperate to be liked, and... And from behind me, I heard, Christ, Pat, you've either pissed your kex or sprung a leak, but either way, you've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and before I could even say a word, he stripped off his dry trousers and insisted I took them. <laughs> that was the sort of man that Peter Clement was. Kind, compassionate, sensitive. No. Nope. brilliant thinker. A natural leader. But mostly... A good man. Na, hoffentlich hat das auch wirklich einen Effekt, was ich hier alles mache. This glorious nation of ours, so beautiful. Wo habe ich jetzt das drin? Ah, bei B. Okay. Thank you, Alex. There'll be another opportunity to steal public perception soon. It's really starting. You'll know when. His accomplishments. Ja, da war echt lange gedauert, dass ihr jetzt so halbwegs mal aktiv werdet. Oder machen wir das jetzt schon länger, nachdem wir jetzt da vermutlich Mitglied sind noch? Damit wir das Ding jetzt hier bei uns haben? It is my great honor to give to you the Peter Clement Memorial Garden. Oh, should we see if we can get a countdown going? Everyone with me. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Uh. Now, Alex, control the message. I'm not leaving. I Bust some. You two, come with me. Don't panic. No. We need a medic here. Come here. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You're resisting and we'll let you up. I'm not resisting. Ah, fuck you. What are you, you doing? I'm not resisting. You'll score. I'm not resisting. If I give you an order, you will damn well follow it. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Keep your eyes open. Oh. Look, look at me. Look, look, look at me. Look at me. Stay with me. Help, help me. Stay with me. We've got you. Yes, you can. Medics are coming. You sit down. Oh, I can't hear you. I'm from the National Nightly News. Well, then you can consider help. this pain. Please, please, stay with me. Please. Holy shit. <laughs> Julius Goldsbury, you are guilty of the murder of more than 10 million people. Justice demands a response. Haven't you done enough? Look around you. Fucking this time. is what your precious freedom looks like. Is it? Oh, you got me. Rise up. Take to the streets. The time has come. Stop fire. Break windows. Draw them out. They can't stop us all. Wow, it's also so much. 
I said, lower your weapons now. Send you both off rotation. Come on, get out of there. What are you doing? Come on. Shut it off. I said, turn it off. Oh, Scheiße, geht's jetzt gerade da draußen ab? Exclusively on the National Nightly News and our apologies to any of our viewers who might have found this evening's events upsetting. But at the National Nightly News, we believe in bringing them back to the What will it take for you to get up and be a part of this? March on team headquarters, storm the building, demand elections, demand answers. Be what you were born to be, the once and future free. Okay, sehr gut. Dann gehen wir wieder auf unser Ding. Und jetzt die Werbung. Hä? My name is Katie Brightman. I'm an economist and commentator. You've probably seen me on the news talking about advance and how progressive their policies are. Well, I was wrong. And I'm here tonight to say I'm sorry. And to to beg for your forgiveness. My parents are not rich. My mother was a nurse and my father worked in a factory. I was the first member of my family to go to university. But I always, I always envied my friends who had so much more. Over the years, my jealousy grew. So when Advance came to power, I didn't think about the damage they would do. I, I acted selfishly. I was glad to see the rich punished. I didn't see how backwards Advance were. I didn't understand that rather than tearing down the wealth creators, we should have been helping everyone else to take a seat at their table. Under Advance, the country is poorer. It is poorer in ambition. It is poorer in aspiration. We are infantilized by Advance's naive policies. Policies born from absurd, redistributive fantasies. Alex, during this next section, a cameraman working in the newsroom, who's one of us, is going to get a coded location out. We don't know yet which camera he's on, but if okay. you out, I'll let you know. Just keep your eyes out for the fist, and try and keep it on the ear for at least five seconds. Okay. The operatives will do the rest. Our only hope, the only hope, now lies with Disrupt. Okay, gut, haben wir es eingespielt. Fand ich gut, die Nachricht. Welcome back to the National Nightly News with me, Megan Wolf. Very shortly, we'll be heading on over to the final episode of what has quickly become a hugely successful feature, the notice board. But before we do... Oh, nee, bitte nicht. Raiden, tell me, why do you think the public love the notice board so much? It's real. <laughs> There, I said it. it. It connects with people. You know, people look at us and they say, those are real people struggling with real problems. That's a, that's a really interesting point. Yeah, I mean, I was saying to my PA secretary as I got out the limo, I was saying, it's good for people to see normal, authentic people like them on TV. Mm, people like you. Yeah, precisely. Mm. Unfortunately, then I was interrupted by some dreadful wretch who wanted an autograph, but a swift kicking from security <laughs> soon put him back in line. <laughs> yes, well, I think it's really good that our screens are filled with such relatable stories. Yeah, so total. The notice board is coming to an end after a sensational time at the top. God, sit down. What do you think has made this show so successful? Oh, it's a combination of so many things. Um, my hard work, mm. um, my talent, my look. Wow, we really have a lot to thank you for. Hey, hey, hey. You're welcome. Mm. What's this We've just heard so well? our man's on camera four. I have a real sense okay. of responsibility now. You know, a sense I've been entrusted with something precious and that I should Get back to the interview, Alex. Good. Yeah, I think that's really important that we should use this platform to, to do good in the world. I agree. That's exactly it. So I've decided to help as many underprivileged people. Excellent work, Alex. That's the <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice. Is that um, better access to education or you know, reducing child poverty? Uh, no, by adopting as many as I can get my hands on. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, how, many, how many children have you adopted? Oh, we're well into the double figures now, Megan. I stopped counting in the late 30s. <laughs> Goodness, that is a lot of children. Yeah, once we finish putting them into the guest room, I'll have to put a futon in the laundry cupboard. Oh, you really are some sort of hero. Hey, I live a privileged life. What can I say? I mean, any child I can take on is a child rescued from suffering. Poor children. Were their lives really that bad before? Oh, they're northerns, I presume so. OK. <laughs> yeah, it's shocking to think, actually, that only one in 10,000 children have a celebrity parent. Hmm. Is this it slim? Of it that way well, I'm doing everything I can to fix those numbers. What do you think it is about your life that's so desirable then? Well, it's mainly shame and panic interspersed with expensive bottled water. So uh, actually, if anyone wants to, I'd happily trade. <laughs> now that I can relate to. Right, <laughs> you better go off and get <laughs> ready. That was Philippa Raiden sharing some thoughts about her lifestyle. I think it's really important to stay grounded uh, and keep everything in perspective, clearly. Not everyone else agrees, but that's enough for me. Let's go now over to Dangly Parts for the final ever episode of The Notice Board. Oh my God, wird das jetzt genauso... Oh ja, sind wieder die gleichen. Das ist jetzt wieder genauso schlimm wie vorher. What a day! First the tea morning, and now to post this notice. I don't know how I managed to cope with it all. Oh wait, perhaps I do. Oh! oh. By St Barnabas, what on earth is all this? Freeze, dirtbag! Oh, Laura, it's you. I thought for a moment you were a knife-wielding mugger or stabber. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. It's just me, a community cohesion officer, responsible for keeping crime at record lows. Of course. Keep forgetting that thanks to you and your colleagues, violence on our streets is a thing of the past. What's all this, vicar? I know it's Schön negativ bleiben hier. Okay, drei Boos. Careful, Vicar. It looks heavy. Ha! They don't call me the right reverend. Ripped for no reason. It's no good. It looks like all those crucifit classes were a waste of time. Perhaps you, a young CCO, would be able to move it. Two for two. Fantastic. <lacht> looks like all those. Wie konnte diese Sendung nur so lange überleben? Wow. Did someone call for the best firefighter in town? Hi! Well done, Captain Evans. You're so much stronger than us. Especially me. The weak old man. It's the least I could do for my community. No luck catching the little devil then? Unfortunately not. The ferret struck again last night. When Ray opened the post office this morning, he found that every single stamp had been pre-licked. <gasps> God! Some people have no decency. Sadly, if we don't catch him before tomorrow, we may have to cancel the village fate. No. Don't worry. We won't let that happen. Will we, Vicar? No, no, no. Laura, tell me, why do they call him the ferret? Some say it's because of his sneaky nature. But really, it's because whenever he strikes, he always leaves behind the foul stench of urine. 
Never fear, officer. We'll catch this pissy nuisance and save the village fate. Or my name's not Captain Danger Evans. The community cohesion team are doing their best, but they simply don't have the smarts to solve this mystery. But I know someone who does. Someone who's about to blow this thing wide open. <laughs> Me! Blackout! Äh, uh, okay, und jetzt? Oh nein, bitte nicht singen. It's the morning of the village fate. Okay, gut. Thanks to theatrical convention. I'm sure if everything goes to plan. Oh, look! There's Mrs. Craven setting up her cake stall. And look, there's the motorcycle display team setting up for a show that will be far too expensive for live television. I'm going to set up the coconut shy. What are you doing, Vicar? First, I'm running the tombola. Then, I'll be selling forgiveness for money. Aren't you judging the jams? I couldn't possibly. Ah! Well, that sounded like Mrs. Craven. <gasps> Looks like someone sucked all the jam out of her donuts. That damn ferret has struck again. Whatever are we to do? Although I'm very competent, I have no idea how to solve this case. I guess we'll just have to cancel the fate. Hold it right there, ferret. <gasps> Me? Have you been drinking from the fire extinguishers again? Not you, the vicar. I don't know what you're talking about. Admit it. You wanted the <laughs> Ja, ich würde das so gern skippen. Das ist einfach so viel Fremdschäden. Oh. I already have to work Sundays. I shouldn't have um, to work two days a week. Das kann irgendwas explodiert. But how did you know? Well, my first clue was the smell. Ist das noch ein Effekt jetzt hier auf der Studie hat und dass sie dann irgendwie hier reinkommen? The vicar's tongue was particularly dry, almost as if he'd been licking thousands and thousands. Of stamps. Or perhaps eating Mrs. Craven's baking. <laughs> da schon wieder. Which brings me on to my third clue. The vicar said that he had no more room for jam. Almost as if he'd had his fill. Precisely. But you managed to figure it all out from that. Well, I also uh, found this at the scene. <laughs> that proves nothing. No! Get him out of here, officer! <lacht> you did it, Captain! You could say you ferreted him out. <lacht> oh, bitte lass das jetzt enden. <lacht> hey, come on. Let's go and have a party in my massive garden. I am doing well. Thanks to you, we're all doing well. Oh ja, Gott sei Dank. That was it, the final ever episode of the ja, bitte verbrennst es. What a way to end it. Thank you as always to Jeff, Philippa and Tommy. After the break, we'll be both dancing and learning. So don't change that channel. We'll be right back. That's the ads. Well done everybody. Wow. <laughs> what a brilliant run, eh? Nee, ich war auf dich. We would have had the most impact here, but we know you played it earlier and we appreciate the effort. Danke schön. Hey you, you. You come to the after party? Oh. <lacht> One last Was? push, Alex. We're closing in. One of the guests in the last section is working with us. You'll be asked to censor on our behalf. If you do it right, the final orders will be given. We'll get three chances. Get at least two of them right, and we're going to win this thing. Hey? It's happening, Alex. Moment. Hä, aber das ist gerade richtig verstanden. Ja, bitte mal kurz erneut spielt. Du verlierst alle nicht gespeite Fortschritte, müsstest du jetzt wirklich. Moment mal, ist das jetzt neu Ich wollte jetzt eigentlich nur. Na egal. Ich dachte, ich komme das hier nochmal wiederholen. Okay, was läuft denn hier eigentlich? Oh. Are we safe? Hi, I'm Maddie. Uh, Jenny just said to ask if you need any touch-up. Did she? That's my shade, is it? Uh, yeah. This is my shade. 
What the fuck? You can run back to Jenny now. Sorry about that, Sarah. Nothing you can tell me. At all, like at all. They said no one's died, that's all I can say. Ten seconds. Okay, das wird voll ist, aber wann soll ich wie zensieren? Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later in this segment, we're hoping to be able to go back to Patrick Bannon at the scene of tonight's shocking disrupt attack. But first, okay. I'm delighted to be glaub, joined by the muscle. cast of the smash hit musical everyone is talking about. I'll be speaking with the cast in a moment, but first, let's take a look at them in action. Please give a warm National Nightly welcome to the Novaries. <laughs> Hello? Doctor? Yes, I see. Thank you for letting me know. I have a decent life. I'm a happy, loving wife. And my job is well paid and fulfilling. I have a husband, John. He's due home soon, won't be long. And I have to tell him something that is absolutely chilling. We share coffee in the morning and we make love every day. We take time alone together to talk and laugh and play. We prioritize our needs. We do charitable deeds, but the flowers of a happy life are now beset oh, gets got full up. I'm home. Oh, darling John. Oh, dearest John. There's something very wrong. I've just had a conversation with our Dr. David Wong, so please be seated. This news will make you feel defeated. The scans revealed a lump. You, you poor, poor unlucky chump. Is it cancer? We're so done. We're having a baby. Also, von den ganzen Musikstücken ist das jetzt das Beste. Why has this happened to me? I always wear two condoms for the maximum of safety. <laughs> In our tiny flat, we built a peaceful habitat. Now our lives are fucked, we're having, having a baby. baby. Now you can't have any wine at the club. And there won't be any time for foot rubs. Now your hair will stink of weed. And you'll start to disagree. And forget about that holiday in Territory 3. No more waking up at half past ten. In fact, you're never going to get a good night's sleep again. No more snap decisions to the one to a club. You'll be lucky if you even make it out to the pub. Why can't we be more like our gay and lesbian jobs? The only crew they have to deal with comes from personal bums. Now when I take a sick day at home, the parasite won't leave you alone. How he's grown! Das ist doch eine Marsch auf einen anderen Song, oder nicht? Also nur so ein Seitennote, man kann sich ja auch den Soundtrack kaufen im Ganzen.
Dämlich wie eh und die. Aber der Geistersong bis jetzt. Amazing. The Novaries there, treating us to their opening number from Elegy for a Childless Life, which is currently the hottest ticket in the Capital Theatre District. And we'll be touring the territories later this year. Right then, come on, you got. Come on down, let's go. Don't be shy. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Megan. Hi. It's an honour to be here. Oh, really? Are you fans of the show? Yeah, yeah. it used to be. <laughs> well, listen, let's get stuck in. You're an amazing musical. Now, I mean, not only do you perform this show every single night. With matinees on Wednesday and Saturday. <laughs> right, but you're also the show's creators, am I right? Well, everyone contributed their ideas, and then some of us went away and did the actual work on the script. <laughs> Aber maximale very much a team effort. Leiste oh, oben, das ist schon mal sehr gut. How rude of me, I've not introduced any of you. <laughs> I'll be the one being replaced next. Let's go down the line, shall we? Hi, I'm Jack. <laughs> Jim Blunt. Pleasure to be here. Jennifer Boreham Woodley. Hello, I'm John. John Sapley. Used to be in the business professionally. My name's Jill with a J. And I'm Janet. I'm the youngest. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> and you were all friends previously. I mean, what a, what a coincidence, right? <laughs> uh, with, with your, with your name. Uh, oder auch nicht, ne? With a J. Oh my goodness, guys. Our names all begin with J. How uh, have we never noticed that? <laughs> because you haven't typed them out a thousand times? Maybe. <laughs> you knew? Why didn't you say anything? I thought we all knew. It's bloody obvious, isn't it? I just thought we were doing a funny thing where we never mentioned it. <laughs> and I believe as well as being friends, you're also couples. You know, in real life as well as in the show. Well, <laughs> okay, that's not about too many Zufälle. Also. Oh. I'm not married to him. Uh. <laughs> I'm with Janet. And I'm with John, you lucky bean. <laughs> Jim and I are married. Four fabulous years. <laughs> well, that must make for some confusion in the rehearsal room. Well, you should have seen the first year off. Jen decided that Jack would play Jim, I would play Jack. Jen, Janet, Jill, Jen, Janet, Jill. What about John? Well, my character was originally just called Man One. It was allegorical. It, it was, was very confusing. Not for a professional. <laughs> After much doing and throwing. And yeah, gnashing and wailing. <laughs> and gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> we decided that we'd just use our own names, which um, is less truthful. We're also less likely to go into the wrong dressing rooms. Oh, God, yeah, that would be very embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> of course, when I first wrote it, we were only meant to run for a few nights at the Nimbley Village Hall, but when I registered it with the Department for Culture, mm. it caught the eye of someone high up, and before you could say overnight sensation, we were transferring to the capital! <laughs> It's all been a bit of a roller coaster, really. Yeah. I'm only 19. I'm the youngest. You really don't have to repeat that. <laughs> I had to give up my job. Leute, an der Stelle muss ich mal ganz kurz unterbrechen. Ich bin gleich wieder da. Für euch ist nur ein Schnitt. Und schon bin ich wieder da. Bitte entschuldigt die kurze Unterbrechung. Geht gerade weiter. Zitiere Orange, okay. And why you shouldn't have them. <laughs> In a way, I guess it is political, with a small p. After all, we are a solid unit, and eagle-eyed audience members will see we nod our heads to advance on stage throughout, and we target the messaging at women aged 22, well, about 35, as they're the most likely to be afflicted by this terrible okay. problem. Okay. Terrible problem. Having children. You understand, Megan. You clearly agree. Wow. This isn't about me. So. Of course, we see that there are advantages to a family unit, but eagle-eyed couples watch as the little parasites advance on their lives. And there's no time to play the guitar, get through a book, or watch a movie. They're exhausted, passed out on the couch by 20 to 9, for God's sake. You're very chatty tonight, dear. Usually I'm the chatty one. Du musst mal den Broadcast anhören, weil ich, wir wissen, wie das Ergebnis nach dem Blieb ist. It's not a badge of honor, Janet. <lacht> Janet, please, Jennifer. Oh, well said, John. Thanks, Janet. Got you back. So, could, um, could you just tell us uh, what is the play about? Mm. What happens in yes. it? Well, go ahead. It's a tragedy, obviously. <lacht> um, Jennifer, myself, and John have their child, and then the story charts the downfall of their hopes and dreams. Oh, hat sie das jetzt gerade mitgekriegt?
Okay. Unit each rapid advance. Coming a target of twenty two. Okay, this is a ziemlich lauter Ton. Let's not spoil the second act for anyone who might come to the It was with Target and <laughs> Which should be all of you. <laughs> okay, get my bit into life. Children is somehow incomplete. That, that children are, are a blessing. Well, I've done the research and they're not. <laughs> Besides, there's already loads of bastards running around all over the place. So. Exactly. We just want people to have the option of a happy, child-free life without mm. stigma. <laughs> you know, when I was 14, before I had come out, <laughs> I had an experience with a girl called Julia Jacobs. Oh shit, we can do it wieder zurück. I guess, you know, Ach, will ich das? Dip my toes into the air. Well, thank you all so much for coming in tonight. I really hope you keep them dancing in the aisles for many performances to come. The Noble Affair. And I am pleased to say we can now go back to Patrick Bannon to get the latest from the scene of tonight's horrific events. Patrick, are you okay? Thank you, Maggot. This is Patrick Bannon reporting from the scene of tonight's devastating and symbolic attack tonight this evening. An attack Holy shit. I myself have been found up in. I, I'm still a little dazed and a little deaf, Megan. So I hope you'll forgive me if I seem that it's time to speak with the Prime Minister. Mrs. Salisbury, that's you. You're still here. The Prime Minister. I couldn't leave, not, not when there were people that needed help. Any team player would have done the same. I don't deserve praise for being human. Yes, no accolades here. Or palisades. Kennt ihr das Gefühl, wenn jemand so richtig right. gern hauen möchte, aber so, ihr könnt es nicht? Situation, now, are we safe? Uh, yes, um, the security services perform their duties without hesitation. And I would like to assure the public that although there have been some injuries, there were no civilian deaths here this evening. Oh, that's good news about... Stimmt ja gar nicht. Sorry, did you... Did you say no deaths? That's right. No civilian deaths. Just the four disrupt terrorists curtailed by law enforcement who were, as always, so cohesive. If I may, I have a message for your viewers. Of um, the There's the ca Speak there on da the hinten. camera there. Stay at home tonight. Do not become another casualty of war. Disrupt have had their moment. But, as the dear departed Peter Clements once famously said, it ends today. Das werden wir sehen. Prime Minister, for those strong words of strength. Back to the studio. Megan, now in the studio with Megan Wolf. Now. Patrick Bannon there, bravely reporting from the front line of tonight's horror. I think we need to get you to hospital, Sally. Yeah. Um, can you get this reported to a hospital, please? Go. One final thought. Throughout the program tonight, we've been receiving Throughout the program together tonight. from our agents at the television networks risking arrest and getting those words to you to the many hundreds and thousands gathering to invade team headquarters. As I speak, we are turning the tide and it is time for change. Tonight we topple their regime and we also silence their mouthpiece. Channel one. Time to wake up. Okay. The military have been actioned and well it's pretty scary out there tonight so stay at home and stay with channel one because the team has assured this program that the turbulence will soon be over and we can once again focus yeah on this club is about all the things holy quality fairness and resources for all my name is megan wolf let's make tomorrow better done it, alex tonight is the beginning of the fall of advance let's check it out o'clock Oh wow. Um Ich glaube, das war's mit dem Fernsehen. Ich wollte doch nur im Studio arbeiten. Wow. 
Wow. Um, die zieh mich jetzt aber nicht raus, oder? Holy shit! <lacht> die Gänsehaltung A plus B, A plus generell alles super. Ich krieg sogar einen Bonus. Kannst du dich einen Kaffee leisten? War vorher. Und jetzt? Nicht täglich besorgt. Okay, meine Anleihen sind nach oben gegangen. Die auch, der Rest nach unten. Das geht nach oben. Und der Channel mag mich noch. Oh, Mann, 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 Mann. Was eine Episode. Ich glaube, die. Ich denke mal, zwei, drei Episoden gibt es vermutlich noch. Und dann ist aber Schluss. Weil, boah, wie wollen sie das jetzt noch weiter steigern? Wobei, das sollte ich bei dem Spiel vielleicht nicht so laut sagen. Was das jetzt schon alles abgeliefert hat. Naja, ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Wir sehen uns zur nächsten Episode. Ciao. Ja, liebe Leute, das ist leider das Ende von dem Video. Wie immer würde ich mich freuen, wenn ihr natürlich hier unten Kommentare reinschreibt, wie ihr es gefunden habt. Aktuelles zum Spiel findet ihr hier in dieser Playlist. Ansonsten der neueste Upload hier oben. Und wer möchte, kommt auch auf unseren Discord-Server. Link ist da rechts oben. Gibt auch immer wieder gratis Spiele und da könnt ihr auch mit mir quatschen und natürlich der Community. Ansonsten lasst ein Abo da und äh, dann verpasst ihr keinen Upload mehr. Bis denn dann, euer Bucher. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.